Welcome to the channel. My name is Jani Walker. Today's episode is all about the Mexicana Universal Gala for 2022. If you're brand new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy content like this and also hit that notification bell so that you'll know when new episodes are released every single week. Woo! This was a tricky episode. First of all, I did not have great footage of all of the contestants, so I feel like if I got to see this in person or if I had HD footage of them that I would probably have different opinions. But we're working with what we have and I'm going to share with you what I was able to find online. This was not easy to narrow down. I was taking quite a few things into consideration for this episode. Of course, the walk of the contestants, that's really the main thing, the walk, the performance, and then also so a little bit of the wardrobe, the hair and the makeup and the styling, but mainly the walk. I'm going to share about my favorites in no particular order. Yucatan wowed in red. Of course, this is going to be a very eye catching color, so you're immediately going to stand out. But with that, that usually means that there's no room for mistakes in a really bright color. And I felt that this performance started off OK, and then it really amped up at the end when she did this little flip with her skirt. I really liked it. I appreciated the creativity and I cannot wait to see what she is actually going going to bring to the competition because just seeing that is very exciting. You can tell that Coahuila is feeling herself when she walks. I love that. She has such a beautiful sway when she's on stage and it kind of reminds me of Harnaz whenever she does the evening gown competition. There's a lot of great hip movement going on there. But once again, I just really love that we're seeing confidence from her because to me that is going to be something that really shines through that's very important. Don't forget to cheer for your favorite contestant and encourage them in the comments below. Let me know who you are rooting for this year. Tamaulipas is somebody that I talked about in another episode and I think she's absolutely stunning. I think that she did a great job here, but this performance was very safe in comparison to the other contestants. So I think moving forward that she could amp this up a little bit more in terms of her posing or her turns for the competition, but still great smooth walk. So we have a great foundation that we're seeing here. One thing that's very important to me when I'm judging pageants is confidence. So Tlaxcala had that for me. She was really, really working this. She wore such a beautiful Beautiful, vibrant bright color but also she was aware of the piece that she was wearing she made sure to feature the slit side of her gown and she did so in a way that looked relaxed and natural and I must say she looked very present like she was enjoying herself Agua Calientes wore a beautiful green gown. Wow, I love the contrast between the gown and the color of her hair. Her walk was wonderful. I thought that she was bringing the right amount of energy to this performance. She wasn't overworking it, but she certainly did not look bored on stage and she incorporated a fun little pose at the end. So I was loving her for this. Don't forget that if you're a pageant contestant that wants to learn how to stand out in the interview and you want to learn lots more of my secret tips that I don't share on the channel, then make sure to click the description below and you'll find more information for Rehearsed to Relatable. Somebody's going to have to help me with this in the comments below, Jalisco. So I saw two Jaliscos for the competition and I wasn't sure about the differences between them or what the titles meant. So if you know more, please comment below. But we're going to talk about this Miss Jalisco right here. This was a beautiful gown choice for her. I loved it. It was sheer. It had lots of iridescent stoning on it. It actually reminded me of Andrea Mesa's gown that she wore when she won the national title, the all the multicolored stones. So that was fun. Loved the styling. But most of all, I loved her confidence. She was really, really working this on stage. And so for me, this is a great indicator of how she'll perform during the preliminary competition. Now we have another Jalisco, but a slightly different title, and I can't remember right now off the top of my head the differences between the titles, but like I said, if you know more, please let me know. So she had a very strong walk coming out. I loved her in this bright, bold color, and then she also had a very unique pose at the end of the runway, but I will say that this pose is something that we were seeing some variation of from many of the contestants, so I'm curious, is that coming from a specific walking coach? Is there inspiration coming from another title? 
title holder. If you know more, share below. But regardless of that pose, I think that she had such a strong performance here. Chihuahua really brought something unique to the stage and she was the only contestant wearing this large oversized ball gown. And I have to say she really, really worked it on stage. She did. And it was fun to watch. It was a great performance that's not easy to do in a ball gown. But I also like the classic black and white on her. And so that for me, you can kind of never go wrong with classics. But this was lovely and she's another contestant that we saw a lot of confidence from. When I saw Nuevo Leon's performance, for me, she went right into a top five favorite for the competition. I loved this. And I'll say not only her performance here and the way that she worked those sleeves on stage, but also the still image that they took of her and shared. That was very much like Tyra Banks saying, here is your best look and it just being fabulous and her not being anywhere near elimination. So loved the whole thing. Campeche gave a very, very solid performance. And the way that I feel about this performance is how I feel when we see contestants who are consistent, who are doing just enough. And I talk about this quite a bit. Yes, it's great if you can be the person that has that very unique Catriona lava walk. Of course, that's gonna that's one way that you can stand out. But many times in pageantry, it's very rare to see a walk that's that incredibly unique or a pose or a turn or anything like that. And so we see these contestants that are going to give these very solid performances that are just enough so that they can keep moving on in the competition. And that's how I felt about her. I say it all the time. Consistency is key. San Luis Portosi. This performance was great. It was solid. Honestly, I wish we would have seen her in a different color. So maybe that's going to change for the preliminary competition for her. But other than that, this was a very, very easy walk, I would say. And if, if I were judging something like this, I would score it very well. And she would be one of those contestants that for me, I'm like, definitely semifinals, move her forward. I want to see more from her. Vera Cruz had a very slow walk in comparison to the rest of the contestants. So I would say for competition, probably speed that up just a hair. But the way that she worked the gown, the posing, the confidence, that's really what mattered to me. And I really liked how she handled the skirt of the dress when she turned towards the back to make sure that that didn't get in her way. And she did it in a way that wasn't incredibly distracting or over the top. She didn't have to flip the skirt. And that right there is just a sign of somebody who is well practiced and knows how to work a garment. And that's that's important for competition. It's one of those added little extra skills that any contestant can be working on. Baja California did a great job. Her performance was solid for me. And the thing I like to always acknowledge is the removal of that overskirt. You can practice a move like that a million times in a studio, but once you're in front of an audience, sometimes things don't go as planned or fabric catches. And so when those things happen and they are effective on stage, I like to just say, wow, well done and great job. This was lovely and I really did like her still image as well. I think that she did, did a great job on stage as well as posing and it's nice to see both skills represented. Nayarit, this dress was one of my favorite of the night and it really surprised me that it was one of my favorite because this isn't a piece that's common to see in pageantry. I have an episode that I posted in my gown series where I shared about multicolored evening gowns and it was really hard to narrow down my favorites for that episode because it's such a rare thing. And this gown though was done very, very well. And oh my gosh, it had a corseted back. So it really cinched in her waist and made her figure look incredible. But the way that she carried it is really what I cared about. The pose at the end, the hair, the styling, all of it put together was very, very well done. I loved it. It was one of my personal favorites of the night. And this was another one of those performances that for me, makes a contestant advance to a top five, in my favorites at least. I shared about all the contestants in no particular order tonight up until this point, and I decided to share with you my number one favorite performance of the night. And that goes to Guanajuato. 
I feel like this should not be a surprise to many of you. I've been reading some of the comments on my other recent episode and she has a lot of fans and oh my goodness, she was actually, I want to say the second or third contestant that I found a clip of online. And when I saw this performance, I already had the feeling that there wasn't going to be something, at least for me personally, that was really going to top it. She gave me a great feeling. I talk about it. It's, it's the Amanda Obdum feeling that I get when I see a contestant and she has what I just call this eye of the tiger and she's so focused. Ooh, you know who else was like that? Demi, Demi Lee. When she won her national title, it's just this look in the eyes that's difficult to describe. And if you want to see what I mean, go watch Demi Lee's performance when she won South Africa and go watch Amanda Obdum's performance when they did a swimsuit presentation prior to, to the preliminary competition. I actually have an episode about that one. But if you want to see that, take a look. But that's what she really had here. The walk. Oh my gosh. The walk was so well done. The posing, the stops on the runway, the facials, great color on her. The gown was beautiful, fitted perfectly to her, everything. And I know I've seen quite a few people say that she has everything that it would take to represent Mexico at Miss Universe and I do not doubt that at all now after seeing this performance all I'm hoping for is that she has the speaking abilities to back up that performance because that'll also be very important for the next rounds of competition. Those are my favorites for this episode. I hope you've been enjoying this coverage. And if you want to see more episodes like this, please leave your requests in the comments below. And remember to keep your comments kind. The contestants do see these episodes and we want to always be encouraging of our contestants. If you want to see other recent videos about Mexicana Universal, then you can check out these right here. I would appreciate it if you supported the channel too by subscribing and hitting that notification so you know when new ones come out. But thanks for joining me for this one. And I hope you enjoyed it and we'll choose to come back next time.